Hey folks, this is I.O. Ether, I'm back with some more World of Tanks, so as you can see, this is Alex the Assassin, and he's back with an AMX 13105. Um, this is a tier 10 game on Fiery Assailant, and um, yeah, we're racing towards the best spot in the game, up at G1, uh, if you want to do some scouting. Uh, believe it or not, he's not going to go, this is just what this thing gets standard. Oh, he's not going for the spot. He's going for this bush line. That's interesting. Spotting the enemy scout. He uh, he gets a shot off. Unfortunately, he's been lit in the process. Oh, he does get the second shot off. And we're going to call it a third, but it didn't hit anything. So it does, however, get the enemy scout killed, which is really crucial. Uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. And we accidentally paused the game. Uh, we just got lit right there. So we were already lit, maybe. I'm pretty sure we just got lit. Anyways, T49. Ooh. Don't think he see sees us. Ah, no auto aim, no auto aim. Mm. We would have hit three out of those shells. Or at least two of those shells if it hadn't been auto aim. But um, don't forget, Alex talks about having how he auto aims a lot because he has bad uh, lag issues occasionally which could be what this is or he's typing a lot or I don't know I don't know what that was <laughs> but either way he was frozen in place for a bit up at the time um, he's gonna push forward we know has this this game game of scout tanks or something we shot something but it wasn't that Sheridan. Because that shell flew true. I want to say it flew true. But it may have curved down and hit the ground, I guess. But I'm fairly certain we shot something. <laughs> we're we're going to have to find out in the post game results. So far, we've shot um, a Sheridan, a T49, a WZ. There's a lightweight out there. And a bat chat. Um. How many scout tanks are in this game? A lot, I'm gonna say. Considering that's just the enemy team. Never mind what's on our team. So, the fact that he's got 700 spying damage already isn't really surprising. Um, he doesn't have any more because of how many tanks, scout tanks are on the team. He is gonna basically circle back around to his spot, push up a little bit. T-54 Lightweight is spotted out. Um, and apparently our bat chat is talking some garbage. And Alex is attempting to get him to stop being dumb. I'm going to assume that's not going to work. Oh, Alex, if you weren't chatting away, you would have had a great shot on that T-54 lightweight. He came literally to the point where our cross hair turned green. Um, Alex? Alex? <laughs> oh. He is in fact complaining about the bat chat and not got his head in the game. Okay, so this by the way is why I hit ignore a lot on people. Um, if they start mouthing off or they're causing me to become distracted just mute them okay you can easily mute people for a game now so go ahead and do it just mute them there's no point in you know holding on to this idiot on your team one you could just mute him and he'd be done with and then he wouldn't be bothering you anymore and you wouldn't waste time talking to him the idiot is not going to change his spots. He's not suddenly going to become a good player. Just don't talk to them and leave them alone. Oh, hello, Mr. Lightweight. Unfortunately, if he fires from this position, he's pretty sure he's going to get killed, which is why he hasn't fired at the E50, and he's not firing at the side of that uh, Lightweight, even though he definitely had a great shot on him. Um... Oh, that lightweight is getting a bit 
um, uppity. And we did get spotted the moment we fired. He just pulls the trigger and guns it out of there. Um, does do a reload though. And we almost get clobbered by our trailer. Yep. Okay, well. You're goading up just in time to get the underbelly of the Yag Tiger. Uh, I would put a shot down range, but I understand why he doesn't. Um, I would not shoot that thing. <laughs> that, that Yag Tiger is just looking for something to shoot at, and uh, you are not going to get shot into him without getting whipped by. or that being shot by the Yag Tiger in return. I love him sneaking back into this bush line. Oh, we spotted T49. T49 is going to die in a couple seconds when the rest of our team aims in on him. No, maybe not. So, I guess we'll take him out ourselves. Yag Tiger, though. Yag Tiger gets himself tracked, and Yag Tiger is now dead. That is how, how you kill Yag Tiger. Now, we know there's an E50 around here somewhere. And last we saw him, he was on only a couple hundred health. Oh. That is not a Yag Tiger. That is a Yagzilla. And so we're just going to have to be a little careful with how we take him out. Or we're going to spot him and then let our teammates murder him. That's also a possibility. I don't think the current shells... We have 58 damage to him. Ah... ah. Well, okay. 58 damage is, is something, I guess. Uh, we are going to speed this up because otherwise it's going to take forever to get done. I'm, I'm so glad I sped that up and made this all faster, right guys? <laughs> so we got lit, but nothing's shot, shooting at us. Meaning, possibly got, we got whipped by artillery? Yes, we did. Look at that. Um, so that is something you guys may want to think about. Uh, if you're getting wet, going down a side that's supposed to be empty, and nothing is shooting at you, it's a fair guess that whatever is spotting you is something that doesn't want to be seen. Therefore, they're going to wait until you have passed them by, and then shoot at you. Um, the artillery, if it had waited long enough, and there hadn't been a friend, another friendly in the area, could have fired in such a way that, holy smokes, <laughs> I didn't think he'd jump into the midst of them, but apparently he's decided he's just going to jump into the middle of all of them, and go a hog wild in here. Uh, don't drown yourself, that would be bad. And I've forgotten what I was talking about. There is, however, a heavy tank bearing down on us. And he's more concerned with the artillery in front of us, which is a little bit weird. But I guess he wants to take one gun out of the game kind of thing. Um, which he's about to do right about now. And then, spinning back around, he should be able to take out the 430. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> only the E75, who can shoot us if his gun ever gets on target. But thankfully, the artillery lands a shell. Ooh, and the gun's not going to get to target. We are about to finish reloading. And I'm just going to put shots in the back of this guy's turret because why not? Or, or I guess the side. If he's going to give us a side of his turret. And that is going to be game. That, by the way, is how you get a scout tank at Radley Walters Battle. <laughs> And if you thought that game was good, come back tomorrow, because this the game tomorrow is going to be even better. Right? Okay. Let's jump over and see what he got for this. Yep. A Sanker, not the worst surprise. Spotter, Hand of God, Bruiser, Duas, Fire for Effect. 13 Bonds, the Radley Walters, plus Scoochies, and, and of course, the Top Gun. Not that we care. So, I remember him shooting all of this stuff. So I guess that that shot did go into the ground on the, um, on the, what's it called? The Sheridan. Ah, I thought he was going to have that. I thought it, it was going to hit another tank, but obviously it didn't. Oh, well. 
uh, top second, sorry, of the team on the team on damage by only a little bit. Uh, when you're behind a T95, that's really not a bad thing. Uh, though that T95 deserves props. He definitely, definitely carried this game. Um, or helped carry it, I guess. Three, 1300 spotting damage, or three, th wow, 3500 spotting damage, a little bit different. And then 4600 damage done. This, yeah, it may have been a scout tank. He may have been scouting, but in the end, he definitely took takes the thing over the top, went full bore into the enemy team, and just started rocking house. And you have to admit, it was beautiful at the end, right? All right, we're going to shut this down now. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and this is IOE Throughout.